Welcome to our video on how to create your first report where you will learn how to choose a template and theme, add data, add a line visualization, sort, filter, set properties, add a cross tab, run a report, change data format, and add cross tab totals. To complete these steps, the base samples must be installed. If any of the required templates, themes, and sample data is missing, please contact your administrator. To create a new report, click the New icon and select Report. On the resulting Templates tab, scroll down and select the Two Rows template. Click the Themes tab, click Blue, and click OK. To add data, click the plus icon and navigate to Team Content, Get Started, Data, Banking Loss Events, and click Open. This data is from a previously uploaded file. At the top of the report, double-click the Report Title Placeholder and type and click OK. To add a visualization to the report, click the plus icon in the first row of the template and select Visualization. In the resulting visualization gallery, click Line and click OK. To populate the visualization with data, expand the tree and double-click Year to add it to the x-axis slot by default, double-click Region to add it to the color slot, and double-click Net Loss to add it to the y-axis slot. To sort the years from lowest to highest, click Year, click the Sort icon in the Context toolbar, and select Ascending. To create a filter to only show the years from 2012 to 2014, with Year still selected, click the Filters icon and select Create Custom Filter. Scroll down. Hover over 2012 and click the plus icon. Do the same for 13 and 14. Click OK. To size the line visualization, click on the visualization to select it. Click the ellipsis button next to the size property and type and click OK. Above the line visualization, double-click the title placeholder and type and click OK. To add a cross tab to the report, click the plus icon in the bottom row of the template and select cross tab. In the resulting dialog, accept the defaults by clicking OK. To populate the cross tab with data, go to the Sources tab and double click Risk Category to add it to the rows, double click Year to add it to the columns, and double click Net Loss to add it to the measures. To sort the values for Risk Category in alphabetical order in the cross tab, click Risk Category. Click Sort and click Ascending. To sort the years from lowest to highest, click Year and then click Sort in the Context toolbar and select Ascending again. With Year still selected, click Horizontal Alignment and align it to the right so that the label is aligned with the values. To size the cross tab, Select it by clicking the three dots, scroll down, and set the size property to 90%. Above the new cross tab, double click the title placeholder and type and click OK. To preview the report, click Run Options, 
and select Run HTML. You will see that the report opens in a new browser tab. This is called the Interactive Viewer, and we can perform core actions on the report output using the Context Toolbar. For example, if we select the Cross tab, we can see the Context menu, and we can swap rows and columns, or create a filter, or change the totals. The report looks good, but let's simplify this data format in the line chart and add some totals to the cross tab. To do that, we can close the browser tab and go back to the original report. To format the data so that it is represented in millions, in the line visualization, click net loss and click the ellipsis button besides the value data format property. We'll change the format type to currency. The currency symbol will be M for millions. We'll place it at the end. We'll have zero decimal places and the scale will be minus six for millions and click OK. To add row and column totals to the cross tab, select any measure, click summarize in the context toolbar and select total. To preview the report without actually running it, click the pencil icon at the top of the application bar. Notice the simplified data format and the totals at the bottom and side of the cross tab. Click the pencil icon again. Back in edit mode, to impress your colleagues, you can try adding items in the toolbox to further enhance your report. And if you ever need to modify the underlying queries behind this report, you could click Report, Queries, and double click either of the two queries. This one was for the line and this one was for the cross tab to see the individual query items beneath. Congratulations, you've learned how to create your first report. You can save the report into my content and open it up again at a later time. Thank you for watching our video on how to create your first report. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.